children's hospitals in California treat over 1 million children each year. Voters approved $750 million in bonds for children's hospitals in 2004. Prop 3 would authorize the state to sell bonds to improve children's hospitals in California. A yes vote means the state could sell $980 million in bonds for the construction, expansion, and equipping of children's hospitals. A no vote means the state would not sell these bonds. Now supporters say Prop 3 will modernize these hospitals, Prop 3 does not raise taxes, and it would help children's hospitals increase bed capacity. Opponents say Prop 3 is badly flawed and would provide a way to compensate hospitals for treating indigents, including illegal aliens who don't pay for care. Supporters include Robin Meeks, Mindy Vasquez, and Diane Gibson. Opponents include the National Tax Limitation Committee and Edward Ted Casa, People's Advocate. For more information, please go to cps.org. California Children's Hospitals take care of thousands of kids with leukemia, cancer, serious illnesses, and injuries. The Children's Hospital Bond doesn't raise taxes. It saves lives. Imagine that. I'm Jamie Lee Curtis. Please vote yes on three. I was told my 13-year-old daughter is here for an abortion. I need to see her. I am her mother. I didn't know anything about this. I didn't know that she is pregnant. Parental notification is not required in California. I need to see her. Please. <laughs> Let me see. Wrong. I don't think I can do this, Joe. I think I want to keep it. Oh, there's nothing to be scared about. It's just a quick procedure, in and out. Wh who are you calling? Ashley. You've reached the Browns residence. We can't come to the phone right now, but if you leave us your name and number, we'd be happy to get back to you soon. Have a great day. Bye. That wasn't Ashley. It hurts when you lie to me, huh? I'm sorry. a pregnant minor can get an abortion without telling her parents. Prop 4 would prohibit abortions for unemancipated minors until 48 hours after a physician notifies a minor's parent or guardian. Notification would not be required in the case of a medical emergency or if the minor gets court approval. A yes vote means California law would be changed to require a doctor to notify, with exceptions, a parent of a minor before an abortion. A no vote means minors would still be able to have abortions without notification. Supporters of Prop 4 say close the loophole allowing minors to have abortions without parental notification. Opponents say that Prop 4 puts teens at risk, perhaps causing a pregnant teen to choose an unsafe or illegal abortion. Supporters include Megan's Law author Barbara Alby and Dr. Joseph Arzanga, past president of the American Academy of Pediatrics. Opponents include the American Academy of Pediatrics, California District, and the California Nurses Association. For more information, go to cps.org. 
It's a kid's prerogative to do stupid things, right? I didn't always know better. But that's where my family came in. Like grandma fixing my finger after I tried to take a cookie from a hot pan. Or my sister keeping me from falling down the stairs when I was three. When I was learning to drive, there was dad warning me about the dangers of drinking and driving. I guess you could say different members of my family saved my life on a number of occasions. But life changes. Decisions only get bigger. A 13-year-old girl was raped over a hundred times by a 39-year-old man. When she got pregnant, he took her to Planned Parenthood. Twice. Her mother didn't know. He took her from school for a surgical abortion. Her mother didn't know. Planned Parenthood never reported this predator. He continued sexually abusing the girl for six more months. Sorry to burst your bubble, but someone needs to know. Vote yes on Proposition 4 and help stop child predators. Proposition 4 puts California's teens at risk. That's why the California Medical Association, the Teachers Association, the Nurses Association, and Planned Parenthood all oppose Prop 4. Parents rightfully want to be involved in their teens' lives. We want our daughters to come to us, and the good news is most do. But for those who can't because they fear being kicked out of their homes, beaten or worse, Prop 4 puts them in harm's way. While Prop 4 may sound good, in the real world, it could have dangerous consequences. Laws like Prop 4 can't force teens to talk to their parents, but it could force them to seek back alley abortions, go out of state, or even consider suicide. No law can mandate family communication. The real agenda of backers of 4 is to limit access to abortion. Prop 4 is dangerous, threatens our teens' safety, and must be defeated. Vote no on Prop 4.